Now we're getting into how to multiply and divide rational expressions. And you see here, um, I have two rational expressions, which we're multiplying together, and we want to put that into a simplified form. So first things first, always, always look for ways to factor your rational expressions. That usually makes things easier. And I'm going to start with this. <clears throat> I'm going to start with this one on the left here. So that is a greatest common factor that I see of 7. And what's left behind is 2 times phi plus 7. And on the bottom of this, well, 48, um, remember, we can always produce factor trees. So maybe it would be helpful to just say something like, I don't know, 6 times, uh, six times 8. Okay, we'll come back to that one. And then phi squared, you just leave as phi squared. And that's factored, or that's multiplied against 18 phi to the fourth. Now, 18, I would say, well, I don't know, 9 times 2. Phi to the fourth, just leave that on top. And then on bottom, I factor out a greatest common factor of 2, uh, which gives me 2 phi plus 7 in the parentheses. Now, it's a little easier to see what cancels out, isn't it? Uh, we can see this 2 phi plus 7 term, which is on top and bottom. And just remember... When you multiply things together, um, that's like making a big fraction, okay, with all the stuff just mashed together. So we've got 7 times 9 times 2 times 2 phi plus 7 uh, times phi to the fourth. Okay, those are all my terms. And on the bottom, I have 6 times 8 times 2 times phi squared times 2 phi plus 7. And now, if you remember from simplifying rationals, you can see there's a couple things to cancel out here. We have a, hmm, let's see, we've got a phi squared right there, and I can replace that 4 with a 2. I have this 2 phi plus 7, that just cancels out nicely, a factor of 2 from the top and bottom, and what's left is 7 times 9 and 6 times 8, and I think I can actually cancel this a little further. Divide 9 by 3, and you get 3. Divide 6 by 3, and you get 2. And now there's nothing left that will cancel, because uh, 7 and 3 are prime numbers. 2 and 8 only have 2s, so there's no common factors there. And what you have in the final form, it was 7 times 3, that's 21. Uh, we still have that phi squared over 2 times 8 is 16. Okay, so that would be your simplified expression from the multiplication on the left. Now, um, there was a part where I rewrote everything. See this? I rewrote everything into one big fraction. You don't really need to do that. As you get practice with this thing, just remember, if it's on top, it cancels with something on bottom. So you can just go into multiplication problems. As long as you're canceling top and bottom equally, you have to cancel the same number of factors, top and bottom. That's okay. So let's move on to this one. This is a factoring problem. And at, as usual, we have to factor before we can start canceling things out. So I'll just start on the top left. And this is 5 minus 6 times 5 plus 5. I'm not going to go through the big X factoring each time with these. I think we've had enough practice with that by now. And on the bottom, I have 5 minus 2 and 5 plus 1. No common factors here, so we're just going to have to keep on going and see what we get on the other side. Uh, the right side is 5 plus 6 and 5 plus 1. And the bottom is 5 minus 6 and 5 minus 1. So what is common now? Let's see, I have a 5 minus 6 factor, so that cancels out. I have a 5 plus 1 factor, so those cancel out. And no more factors, so I would just write my answer as this. I would say 5 plus 5, 5 plus 6, divided by 5 minus 2, and 5 minus 1. And just a helpful hint, you should probably write your answers in factored form, okay? Because the computer may not recognize what you write if it's not in factored form. It's expecting that. And if you write it in standard form with phi squareds and, and all that, it may get a little confused. It may think you're trying to fool it by just giving it the original again. So make sure your answers are in final uh, factored form.